tan han tan han tan han param puji ke sate sadguru wahe guru sri guru arjan dev sahib ji tan han We have a lot of new faces, and it's been a while since I told you guys the sakhi, so you guys might have forgotten the sakhi. So, by Niha Ji, was a Sikh of Guru Dev Bahadur Sahib. Did you, can you guys tell me which Guru Guru Dev Bahadur Sahib he was? Not the Akhme Guru, the Naume Guru, the, the Ninth Guru, exactly. So, by Niha Ji, you to do Seva. Their Seva was to bring water to the Gurdwara every day. Now, if you guys need water, you guys just turn on the tap, right? What, where are the places we need water in the Gurdwara? Just give me some examples, raise your hands. Andy. Okay. So yeah, so one is when we want to wash the Pandey. We need water to wash the Pandey. <coughs> One is for drinking water. So yeah, one is drinking water, yeah. When the bathrooms, you need water in the bathrooms. Yep, we need to wash our hands when we either go into the Langar to do seva or we go upstairs to go to the bar side to eat then or jar side. Washing your clothes, yeah, we do laundry at the Gurdwara for the Ganti sings. Washing your feet, yes. Shower, okay. Most of you guys aren't showering or washing your clothes here, so. But yes, we do need that for the Ganti sings here. But yes, in general, we need water for a lot of things in the Gurdwara. One, for washing our hands, some for serving the Sangat water. We drink water here. We wash the Sangat to do tip on day with water. We also make sabji. Dal, all these things with water. I don't know if you guys have ever made sabji or dal, but you're, you need water to make dal and sabji. You also need water to make prashad You To make roti, you need atta and pani and te. So you need water for almost everything in the Gurdwara. Now it's very easy to get water. We'll answer after, okay? We'll answer after. So, but Nihaji's seva was to bring the water. That's how important water is. We already talked about how much we need water in the Gurdwara. So they would go all the way to where the lake was and where the well was, and they would bring water all day. They would, I don't know if you guys have ever carried a bucket of water, but it's pretty heavy. They would carry that bucket, they would put it on their head, they would wake up earlier than everyone, because guess what? Prashadde and all the seva gets done at 2 o'clock in the morning, but the water has to be there earlier, right? Because they need the water to make the prashadde, they need the water to make the sabji. So by me, I would wake up one hour earlier than everybody else to go get the water from the well. And they'd have to do multiple trips, not just one time get water and come back. I already told you guys, we need water in so many places in the Gurdwara, right? So all day they would bring water and they'd place it on their head. And they would do seva and they, all day when they were bringing water, they'd do simran, like how we just did in the start. Vahe guru, vahe guru, like that. But Nihaji did so much seva that eventually when you put that much pod, that the water was heavy on their head, their head started to dip like this. Because they were putting pressure on it every day. And what was happening was they're spilling water on your head. I don't know if when you guys wash your hair, do you leave your hair open to dry? If you tie up your hair when it's wet, it can get like really weird. And it can even get like bugs in it. You can get infections if you tie up your wet hair. But that's kind of what was happening to my Nihad because water would spill on their head every day. So now little, little bugs started coming in their hair and their head started to bleed, right? And they didn't care though. Their biggest thing was, I want to do the seva. I have to get the water for the sangat. They were really scared that if one day they take a rest, somebody else will take their seva. And they didn't want to give up their seva. They're like, finally you get a seva. Not everyone is very lucky to have seva. You are, you are all sitting in this room today and how many people do we know who never do seva on the world? Right? We know some people who don't even know what seva is. So you guys are so lucky that you guys even get to do seva. So by Nina Ji was like, I'm so lucky. I get to help with the Gurdwara. I get to bring water every day with Guru Sahib's Girpa. So they never stopped. And one day they were combing their hair 
they're combing their hair and Mata Gujri Ji, does anybody know who Mata Gujri Ji is? Yes? Yeah? Yes, their Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib's life. Good. So Mata Gujri Ji saw Pai Miha Ji combing their hair and then they saw how Pai Miha Ji's head was. It was bleeding, it had bugs in it, and they're like, what's going on? Right? And then they go and tell Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji that Pai Miha Ji is very hurt. Their head is bleeding. And they're very important. We need to respect them because they do so much seva. But we need to also take care of our Gursikhs, right? Guru Sahib takes care of us. So Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji called Pai Miha Ji and said, come to the Darbar. Come to where I am and come talk to me. Pai Miha Ji came really quickly because if the Guru wants something, you come. When Guru Sahib calls you, you go running. And so Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji told Pai Miha Ji that Mata Gujri Ji saw you comb in your hair and your hair is bleeding. And you need to go to the doctors. And you need to rest and you need to get medicine for your hair and for your scalp so it's not hurt. And Pai Miha Ji said, no, I don't need to, it's not important. It's okay, I can keep doing seva, it doesn't hurt me. Because the thing about Gursikhs is they don't really feel pain. Guru Arjun Dev Sahib said in the Tati Tavi, they didn't feel pain. Right? Pai Mani Singh Ji, Pai Taru Singh Ji, Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Ji, all these Gursikhs, all the Guru Sahib, they gave Shaheed Diyan, they didn't feel pain because they have Guru Sahib Bani inside them. So same thing with Pai Miha Ji, they read so much Bani, they did so much seva, that they didn't feel that their head was hurting, or that it was bleeding, or that there was bugs in it. But Guru Tegh Bhadra Sahib said that it's important for a Gursit to be strong and healthy. For all of us, we always teach you guys to also do exercise. Not just free thought, but to also exercise. To also eat healthy, right? Because you guys are going to do all the seva when you're older. If your guys' backs already start hurting right now, then how are you guys going to do seva when you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old? You're probably going to be like, I'm too tired right now, I can't do it later. So we need to be strong. So Guru Tegh Bhadra Sahib said the same thing to Pai Miha Ji, that we need to be healthy and strong. And Pai Miha Ji said, I'm really scared that someone's going to take my seva. The one day I have to go to the doctors and I need to get the bai, then somebody else is going to do the seva. Because the thing about Sikhi is, and seva is, somebody will always come to help. Even if it's not you. When you make prashate in the morning, or wherever you do seva, when you have to go home, does nobody get water anymore in the Gurdwara? People still get water, right? People still get prashad there. Somebody else comes to do the seva. So Pai Miha Ji knew that if I stop, somebody's going to take the seva. And they didn't want to lose their seva. They're like, I finally got a seva. I'm so lucky that I get to do seva. And Guru Tegh Bhadra said, they gave Pai Miha Ji a promise. They said, I will not let anybody take that seva. I promise you. Go to the doctors, get your medicine, get better. And then when you come back, I promise you that seva will be here for you to do. So the thing is, we sometimes get seva, right? I might ask one of us, all the teachers here, we might ask you one day, can, can you guys go wash the pande? They need help. Can you guys go make peri in the, in the longer hall? Can you guys go clean the washrooms? Can you clean the shoes? And sometimes we might say, no, I'm kind of lazy, or I have to go, I don't have time. We sometimes say no to seva. But in those times, we should also remember by Nihaji that they're so scared that seva might get taken away. And here we're being handed seva. Okay, can you guys please do seva? Please, please, we need help. And we're saying no. So the next time we get seva, no matter what it is, we should always say, yes, please. Thank you, Guru Sahib, for giving me seva. Because seva is not being given directly from maybe me, Jassi Bendi, or Harleen Bendi, or Amrit Bendi. The seva is actually coming from Guru Sahib. Guru Sahib is giving you seva through some of your teachers or your elders, right? So I want you guys to remember by Nihaji in the future when you guys get seva, and you might be reluctant to say, you know what, I'm a little tired today. I don't want to do seva. Or I have too much on my plate already. Or I need to go home and I need to study, or I need to make food, or whatever it is. You're not, we're very few people get to do seva, so when you get to do seva, it's a very big deal. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions now. So, what was the Gursik's name, who I told you guys about? Pai Nihanji. Which Guru Sahib's time was Pai Nihanji from? Anji. Yeah. Guru Dev Bahadur Sahib Ji. What was Pai Miha Ji Seva? Anji? Yep. Yeah. To get the water for the Gurdwara. What time would they wake up before the Sangat? Yep. Two o'clock? Yeah, they wake up one hour earlier than everybody else. And what happened to them when they kept doing Seva for so long? They were 
Yeah. Yeah, their hair started bleeding, they started getting bugs in their head. And who saw them when uh, they were combing their hair? Mata Gujri Ji, and Mata Gujri Ji was related to the Guru Hav. Guru Tegh Bahadur said you have. Yes? Yes, Guru Tegh Bahadur said his wife. And uh, what did Guru Sahib say to Pai Ji? Yep, yep. You have to go to the doctor. What was the promise they gave to Pai Mihaji? Uh, yes? Yep. No one will take their seva. Exactly. So, next time you guys get a seva, are you guys going to say, I'm a good, but tired, who have things to do? Or are you going to, who are you going to remember? Do it. You're going to do it. Exactly. You're going to remember Pai Mihaji. So now, Monique is going to teach you guys the Pankti, which is on the board. And then we're going to, what I want you guys to do is after she teaches it to you, and we start repeating it, I want you to close your eyes. I guess I want you to imagine by me, honey, in your head. I want you to imagine them carrying a heavy bucket of water every day. Then I want you to imagine you are that same person carrying the water and doing seva. Whatever your seva that you love to do, I want you to imagine yourself doing it for Musa. And try to read as loud as you can so that Musa can hear you. Okay, so I'm going to do Kali Kali Nag first. Gage of Kurgo, Gara of Tara, Gore, Sasila Se, Vavikanava, Seva, Katena Te, Te, Nanekanana, Numea Me, Name, Lalekanala, Gakekanaga. Laga, Laga. Gaur Seva, Te, te. Name, Laga, Laga. Tate Sarite, Sasa Muktasar, Tesar, Kaka Muktakar, Ude Ankar O, Kao, Mame Sarite, Lale Sarite, Ade Karna A, Milya, Jaje Sarite, Sase on Perso, Jeso, Mumam Tama, Sasam Tasa, Tatam Tata, Taka Sari Ke, Master Ke, Pabekana Pa, the Gekanaga, Paga, Tesako, Melia, Jeso, Master Ke, Paga.
to learn more, please visit. Gursevo.com